Hello students, this is your history lesson and in this lesson we are going to read chapter 6 The Golden Age of Hindu Rulers So you are supposed to open your book page number 29 and read this unit with me but before start I would like to share some glossary with you. Number one word, territory. Territory, an area of land that belongs to or is controlled by a government. Number two, dynasty. Dynasty, a series of rulers or leaders who are all from the same family or a period when a country is ruled by them. Number three, reign. Reign to be the king or queen of a country. Four, successors. Successor. One that follows, especially one who succeeds to a throne, title, estate, or office. Number five, Brahmin. Brahmin, a member of a group of people who hold a high social position and who are well educated. Number six, patternized, patternized to treat others in a manner that shows you consider yourself to be better or more important than they are. Number seven, elaborate, elaborate containing a lot of careful detail. Number eight, sculptures. Sculpture, the art of forming solid objects that represent a thing, person, idea, etc. out of a material such as wood, clay, metal or stone. Number nine, excuse it. Excuse it, extremely beautiful and delicate. Number 10, remarkable, remarkable, worthy of attention. Number 11, prosperity. Prosperity, the state of being successful and having a lot of money. Number 12, Bay of Bengal. The Bay of Bengal is the northeastern part of the Indian Ocean, bounded on the west and northwest by India, on the north by Bangladesh. 13. Splendor. Splendor, the beautiful features or qualities of something. Let's start reading of the page 29. The Gupta era. C320 to 550 CE. C stands for common era. The Gupta era. The Gupta Empire was an ancient Indian empire which existed from the mid to late 3rd century CE. 2543 CE. This period is considered as the golden age of India by historians. So it took more than 500 years after the Maya dynasty for India to be united under one ruler again. This was Chandragupta I, the founder of the Gupta 
dynasty who took the title of Maharaja Deharaja, great Raja of Rajas. He married Kumara Devi of the Lichavi clan. Lichavi? Lichavi was an ancient kingdom in Nepal. The Lichavis were the most famous clan amongst the ruling confederate clans of the Viji Mahajanapad, Mahajanapad of Indi ancient India. And uh, clan, a clan is a group of people united by actual or perceived kingship and descent. So, he married Kumara Devi of the Lichavi clan and added more territory to his empire. The coins from his reign show both the king and queen on them. Chandra Gupta's rule lasted for nearly 15 years. His successor, Samadra, Samadra Gupta, Samadra Gupta became the most famous of the Guptas and ruled for 40 years. He became a powerful ruler by conquering most of northern and central India. He was a great soldier and also good at poetry and music. He encouraged the arts, learning and literature and was himself a good poet. Being a Brahman, he patronized the Hindu religion. He also tolerated other faiths in his empire. So the Maurya Empire was founded in 322 BCE by Chandra Gupta Maurya, who had overthrown the Nana dynasty and rapidly expanded his power across Central and Western India. The Golden Age of the Guptas. The period between the 4th and 6th centuries CE is known as the Golden Age of India because of the considerable considerable achievements because of the considerable achievements of Indians in the fields of mathematics, astronomy, science, religion and philosophy during the Gupta Empire. So the reign of the Gupta dynasty is called the golden age of Hindu rulers of India as it promoted classical Indian literature, arts and sciences as I have told you earlier. Kalidesa. Kalidesa was a gifted poet, playwright of this age who wrote many plays, two of which Macdoth and Shakuntala are classic plays to this day. So, who was Kalidesa? Kalidesa was a classical Sanskrit author who is often considered India's greatest playwright and dramatist. Temple art became an art form as seen in the elaborate sculptures that adorned them outside as well as inside. The walls of the caves at Ajanta and Elora are covered with exquisite paintings in brilliant colors, an example of the remarkable artwork of the Gupta era. An other outstanding scholar of this age was Aryabhata. Aryabhata at the Nalanda University who came up with the concept of zero and accurately 
calculated the value of pi, both of which laid the foundation of later developments in mathematics and science. The golden age also refers to the huge number of gold coins minted during the reign of the Guptas, reflecting the wealth and prosperity of this dynasty. Now come to page number 30. Here is Chandra Gupta II. C375 to 415. Chandra Gupta, also known by his title Vikram Maditya, was one of the most powerful emperors of the Gupta Empire in northern India. So students, who was Chandra Gupta II? Samudra Gupta's son. Samudra Gupta's son Chandra Gupta II took the title of Vikram Maditya, the son of power. First, firstly, we read about the Samudra Gupta Empire, how he ruled the country now we are going to read about chandra gupta he was the son of samudra gupta and he was having the title of vikram maditya chandra gupta second's rule of 40 years was the golden age of the gupta dynasty the Gupta Empire stretched from the Arabian Sea in the west or west to the Bay of Bengal in the east, which helped to increase trade, making the Gupta Empire rich. So in his reign, trade flourished and he had a rich empire. Fahan, a Chinese visitor to his court, speaks of the prosperity and splendor of his court. Beautiful gold coins were minted and there was peace, order and security in the empire. People were contented they worked hard and trained for every craft and job. There was quality control and pricing was fixed by the officials. So students, we can see the Gupta Empire reached its zenth during the rule of Chandra Gupta. 2. Chinese pilgrim Fahan, who visited India during his reign, suggests that he ruled over a peaceful and prosperous kingdom. So this is your lesson for today. You have to read and understand about the golden age of Hindu rulers on page number 29 and 30. Thank you for listening. Take care. Allah Hafiz.